Mary. Oh, I'm Rosie and I'm here with Laura and Sarah and we've come down for a protest <laughs> to stop the war because obviously this is what it's going to do. <laughs> it's quite unique out here in the crowd. What, 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 uh, what made you decide to dress up the way you're dressing up? Uh, yeah, because it's tension, fun. you know, it's everyone's just sat on their asses doing nothing. You know, Someone's got to make an effort. Exactly. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you think of the war? What's your opinion? It's bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? No, it's just it's completely wrong and we're out there for all the wrong reasons. And it's just like, I mean, I've got a friend going out in September who's in the Marines and it's just like it's a total waste of time doing something that isn't benefiting anybody apart from people who are just getting richer and richer and it's just a stupid waste of life and like how can we fight like against violence it's just a complete like juxtaposition because it's kind of like i know this is really bad let's go and fight it it's bollocks and what, what do you think of the, the democratic process today coming out marching do you think it's important do you think it still works um i don't know if it still works because it's clearly not worked up until now has it but it's kind of like i think it's really important that people kind of recognize that we should still have a voice and that people come and say something because if no one says anything, then it's going to go unnoticed. So it's good. Do you think it's important? Oh, yeah, to get it right yeah totally. Yeah, I, think I think it is, like especially like for young girls. I mean, I'm a feminist, so it's kind of like women died for us to have the rights that we do today. So it's really important to come and like voice what you feel about things. Um, but totally, <laughs> my granny would kill me if I didn't vote. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I mean, I'm a community artist up in Nottingham and I work with so many like disenchanted young people and it's like, so if people our age and stuff don't start rebuilding a decent society for them to live in, then who, who else is going to? What do you think individuals can do to, to help Individuals like come and do things like this and like tell young people about what's going on, try and get them interested in what's going on around them rather than just like the immediate things that are happening in their social lives and things like that because it's all about a bigger picture. And it's like, and I know it sounds really cheesy, but it's kind of like, you know, I grew up in a house where like it was always really important to, to vote, to care about what was going on and to care about the environment around us. And like, and if you don't build it for yourself, no one else is going to do it for you. So it's just about kind of preaching the word a wee bit, I think. Thank you very much. Cheers.